Hello and welcome to chapter 9, lesson 12. Today we're going to be subtracting mixed numbers. I'm going to try not to make it as long as the last one, so let's get started right away. One king crab weighs two and three fourths pounds. A second king crab weighs one and one fourth pound. How much more does the one king crab weigh? Use models to find the difference. Um, okay. So here I have one, two, and three fourths, and then I'm going to try and subtract one and one fourth. One and one fourth. So that's kind of what we're doing here, just to visualize it. Um, so I don't love how they teach you, so maybe get a notebook out or you could write on the side um, how we're going to do this. So you're going to do it the same way as we do adding. 2 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourth. 3 fourths minus 1 fourth is going to give us 2 fourths. 2 minus 1 is going to give us 1. Then I need to simplify my fraction and I'm going to get 1 half. Okay, so my final answer is going to be 1 and 1 half pounds is the difference between one king crab and the other king crab. Okay, here we go. We need to do six and 11 sixteenths minus two and five eighths. Um, yeah, it always is good to estimate. This is about seven minus three, so our answer should be about four. I'm gonna scooch this down. And here we go, 6 and 11 sixteenths minus 2 and 5 eighths. Notice I do not have common denominators, so I, my, that's my first step is get those common denominators. Okay, so I'm going to get 10 sixteenths. So I have 11 sixteenths minus 10 sixteenths is going to give me 1 sixteenth. 6 minus 2 is 4. Four sixteenth. Four and one sixteenth is my answer for this one. Okay. And is four and one sixteenth close to four? It is. So we are good to go. Estimate then subtract. So if I was going to estimate this, I'd say four and two thirds is about five minus two. So we should get an answer about three. Let's see. 4 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 1 third. 2 thirds minus 1 third is going to give me an answer of 1 third. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. Wasn't so bad. 2 and 1 third, is that close to 3? Yeah, it is. Kind of closer to 2, but 2 and 3 are close together, right? Okay, so let's estimate this one. I would say this is 6 and this is 3, 6 minus 3. So again, our answer should be about 3. Let's take a look. 5 and 4 fifths minus 3 and 2 fifths. 4 fifths minus 2 fifths is 2 fifths. 4 minus 2 is 2, our 5 stays the same. Okay, 5 minus 3 is 2. So our answer is two and two fifths. Nice, those didn't even have to be simplified. They're already in simplest form. Okay, um, I'm looking at the talk math here. It says, how would you do three and five eighths minus two and three eighths? Well, first we'd subtract the fractions. Five minus three is two eighths. Then I'd subtract my whole numbers. Three minus two is one. Then I would simplify and say my answer is one and one fourth. So there are the steps I would take. Estimate then subtract. Okay, I would say that's about seven. Um, that's about two, so my answer should be about five. Six and five eighths minus two and three eighths. Okay, five minus three is two eighths. Six minus two is four, reduce. Okay, four and one fourth. Close to five, yep. 
Uh, that's about 10, that's about one, so my answer should be about nine. Nine and three fourths minus one and one fourth. Three minus one is two fourths, which hopefully you're saying reduce it, reduce it. Nine minus one is eight, reduce. Eight and one half is your answer, which is close to nine. Uh, that's about five, that's about four. If I subtract them, my answer should be about one. And this too, when you're estimating guys, it will really help you to see if, oops, I accidentally added and I was supposed to subtract, right? If you get an answer of uh, 11, you're supposed to get an answer of nine, you're like, whoa, that's kind of off a bit. So it's really good to, and it takes like five seconds. So that's my plug, estimate, because it's gonna help you. Okay, common denominators, times two, times two. So now I'm working with two sixths. So I'm taking five sixths and I'm taking away two of them. So I'm gonna be left with three sixths. Four minus four is zero. Okay, so I better reduce. Divide them both by three and I'll get an answer of one half. That's pretty darn close to one if you ask me. All right, this is the point in the video where if you're like Mrs. Hamer, I get it, I'm really good at this, you can stop watching. I'm gonna do some uh, word problems next. So if you'd like to hang around and get better at math, then stay with me. Okay, Mrs. Gabble bought seven and five six gallons of punch for the class party. The students drank, that means it's going away, right? Four and one half gallons of punch. How much punch was left at the end of the party? Write it in simplest form. Okay, first step, get common denominators. So I'm gonna have three sixths. Five sixths minus three sixths is two sixths. Seven minus four is three. Simplify equals three and one third gallons. Okie dokie, let's move on. Bella is 10 and 5 twelfths years old. Uh-oh, I should have written it down already. Franco is 12, 12 and 7 twelfths years old. What is the difference in their ages? So can't take 10 and subtract 12. Got to flip them around. Difference means subtracting, right? So I need to do 12 and 7 twelfths minus 10 and 5 twelfths. 7 twelfths minus 5 twelfths is 2 twelfths. 7 minus 5 is 2, right? Okay. Uh, 2. Simplify. So my answer is 2 and 1 sixth years. Older. That's the difference in their ages anyways. During week one of recycling drive, the fifth grade class recycled nine and two thirds pounds of glass and 12 and three fourths pounds of glass. During week two, the fifth grade class recycled eight and two thirds pounds of glass and 13 pounds of newspaper. How many more pounds of newspaper than glass did the class recycle? Whoa, Nelly. So, First, I guess I have to figure out, this is glass, nine and two thirds pounds of glass and 12 and three fourths pounds of newspaper. Week two, uh, they recycled eight and two thirds pounds of glass. So this is gonna tell us how much glass and this is gonna tell us how many newspaper. Okay, and 13 pounds of newspaper. Okay, so that's easy enough. Three fourths plus zero is three fourths. Uh, 12 and 13 is 25 and three fourths pounds. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Now I need to add these two, which doesn't look so bad. We already have a common denominator, but I'm going to get an improper fraction. So I'm gonna break it apart. Uh, three thirds plus one third equals four thirds. So I need to add one 
to get 18 and a third. Okay, and it says how many more? So that means I need to subtract. 25 and 3 fourths minus 18 and 1 third. Common denominators. Yikes, I didn't give myself enough room. Oh, maybe if I just scoot you up a little bit. There we go. So I know I got to get to 12, right? Okay, so I'm going to be doing 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths. 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths is going to get me to 5 twelfths. And then I have to do 25 minus 18. 50 minus 18 is 7. Okay, 7 and 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths is already written in simplest form. And that is pounds, I believe. Let me take a look here. Yep, pounds. So seven and five twelfths pounds more of newspaper than glass. Okay, a snack mix recipe calls for five and three fourths cups of cereal and three and five twelfths cups of cups less of raisins. How many total cups of snack mix does the recipe make? Write it in simplest form. Okay. So it needs that much cereal and that much less of raisins. How many total cups does it make? Okay, here we go. I'm going to subtract 3 and 5 twelfths. I know I can make 4 or 12 by multiplying it by 3. 9 twelfths. 9 twelfths minus 5 twelfths is going to get me to 4 twelfths, which we can reduce, but we'll get to there. 2 and 4 twelfths. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and I'm going to get 1 third. So I, I need 5 and 3 fourths cups of cereal and 2 and 1 third cups of raisins. R-A-I-S-I-N-S -I -I of raisins. Okay, so how many total cups of snack mix does it take? So I'm going to take raisins plus cereal, five and three-fourths plus two and one-third. Okay, I need to get common denominator 12. Should have just kept it up there. I uh, left it at 12. So I'm going to get 9 twelfths plus 4 twelfths, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 twelfths, great. Improper fraction. Okay, so I'm going to break it up into 12 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, which would get plus 1 here. 8 and 1 twelfth cups of snack mix. Okay, real quick here, what's the difference between the two weights? Four and one half ounces minus three and one eighth. I'm still gonna go by the whole numbers to see which one goes on top. Okay, so I need to multiply by four, multiply by four, and I'm gonna get four eighths minus one eighth. That would be three eighths, and four minus three would be one. One and three eighths ounces is the difference. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.